cut. <laughs> yep. There's that delay where I'll take a drink of my apple cider in my cozy mystery mug. <laughs> hey, we're live! Yeah. <laughs> hey, Victoria Gilbert, one of my favorite people. I love her. She's so sweet. Ah, what just happened? <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> we're live. Beep. <laughs> yep. Where's mine at? Lady oh, Gizmo is here. Jennifer is here. Hi. Hello, people. Okay, let's. Yes. We are talking tonight. About <laughs> what? I said tonight we are talking about this lovely book. <laughs> I know tonight is all about apple cider slaying, and Julie Ann Lindsay is a. She's just a cozy writing goddess at this point. She is an official yeah. must buy, yeah. auto buy. Just love her. <laughs> Yes, auto by lover. I was like, as far as book choices go, I think she's a she's she's a safe bet. Like, I think I'm pretty sure at this point, like, we're gonna get a slow burn romance, and I'm gonna be like really invested in the mystery. <laughs> yes, she's amazing. Yes. Oh, hi everybody! I know it's like there's always that you know little delay of when we're talking versus when people can actually join in. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Angela's here, Trish is here, Chris is here. Hello. And Go ahead, sorry. Oh no, I was gonna say before we dive in, I wanna make sure everyone knows we are joined by the lovely Anna, whom she is just so sweet. If you guys aren't following her, you need to be. And she has the most amazing taste in Cozy Mystery Novels. I mean, seriously, if you guys are not following her, you need to be. I'm so happy she's joining us tonight. I'm like, oh, I'm so glad. I'm so happy to see her face. <laughs> Thank you all Thank for you. having me again. I'm happy to be here. Oh, I love her. If you guys don't know, but I made Aww. that clear. <laughs> She's fabulous. She introduced us to Brie Baker and, you know, Julianne Lindsay. So she's just I'm a like, goddess. Because of you, like, this is one of those, you know, snowball yeah. effects. You introduced one <laughs> book, and then we have the follow up book. We're like, okay, we're doing. What was that? I wrote down the books in the series because I didn't want to forget. Because we had Live and Let Shy, then we did the back end, then we did the second one. No good tea goes unpunished. And now we have to do Tide and Punishment eventually at some point. So you're the, you're just starting all the codes with your love. <laughs> <You're> there. <laughs> On my December TBR. I can't wait to get to that one. I know. So did everyone, I mean, obviously we love the book. But people, mm -hmm. comment, you guys like it? You read it? Yes? Yeah, did we read it? Um, what was our star rating? Yeah. We loved wow. it. Sorry. This book had everything. I mean, this also, for the first time since we've been in existence, I think I actually I, I predicted the killer right off the bat. I knew the killer. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> I was shocked. I, I was so proud of myself. I finally got the killer. <laughs> I didn't guess it at all. Oh, my Re God. As for makers, so full of magic. I never can guess. I feel like I was like, oh, it's this person 100%. And I'm like, oh, I, <laughs> I thought it was going to be that farmer guy. And then I was so funny because she's like, land. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the dog is down there. I apologize. And if you hear any little barking or noise, I can't help the little paw prints on the wood. <laughs> Angela, Angela Cox is saying, I want to move to the small town in the book instantly. Isn't it such a oh, great little town? Perfect cozy setting. Yes. And can I was we gonna talk say about sunny buns, the, the, the tanning place. I die the, laughing. The bakery. So sunny buns. Gosh. That's great. I mean, I have to admit, I loved that it kind of had that. I mean, yes, we have like again a very hallmarky tonight. Like, I don't know if you can see like my hallmark oh movie. I have Chuck Lawrence. I'm wearing my hallmark onesie, but like it kind of felt differently because even though it had a very hallmark town vibe, I love the fact that even though <laughs> these people might not always get along, they have that sense of community. Mm -hmm. And so I loved yeah. how when Nadine again, this happens very quickly. Like we know she's the victim, but I loved how Granny, she's like the arch nemesis, but she's still mourning her, and she's still she's still regretful that this woman passed away. And so just the community and like, and even when 
they needed help setting up <laughs> for their main event later in the community. Like they just volunteer right from the get go. Like I want to move to the small town too. I'm like, please be in existence in somewhere in West Virginia. I will find you. I will join you. <laughs> Yeah, I love yeah. Granny when the sheriff was asking her all these questions and she was just like, every time we had a conversation, someone had their feathers ruffled, but she was a member of this community and that made us family. And I'm like, oh, Granny, how could you think she's the killer? Honestly. Right? And that so reminded me of the little town that I grew up in, because that's exactly the way it is. It's a teeny tiny town and everybody knows everybody's business. Mm -hmm. But, it, you know, you may not get along with someone, but if something happens in the community, you all come together. And I mean, that's that really is how it is. I love that. I mean, even though they didn't get along, it wasn't, you know, one of those animosity to the point where, you know, they couldn't be in the same room. And that's a lot of what you see. You get that like kind of mean girl mentality of, oh, I want to destroy you. But they still had common ground, even though they were arch enemies, which was it's that's so different. You don't see that a lot in a lot of places. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I want to go to the small town. I want to be in your community. <laughs> I think this was probably one of the like the strongest senses of community for Cozy that I've come across in a really long time. I mean, yes, your other books have the sense of community, but like this one, like the fact that you can like your arch enemy in some way just really struck me. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. And as I'm looking down at my dog, we also have adorable cats. <laughs> so. Yeah. I'm just gonna throw that out there as my little guy like wanders around my apartment. Kenny Rogers and Dolly. Oh, greatest name. Great. Greatest name. You're a horrible person. You are not a horrible person. You are the sweetest human being. I love Trish. I love Trish. She's like, you're welcome to join us. I'm telling you whether we're in the hot or not. Trish is always welcome. Anytime. Aww. I hope eventually you can borrow the book from the library, Tristan. Gaylene, you are not late. We just started, and I liked your review over on Goodreads. <laughs> she gave the book five stars. I know that. I looked that up earlier. <laughs> yes, pass the popcorn. Yes. <laughs> That's like the. This okay. is my list. <laughs> I'm really going off the mark today. <laughs> That's so cute. Aww. I know. So, what do you. <laughs> Did you guys have a favorite character? Like, what did you guys think of Winnie? Did you guys have favorite characters? Like, what did you enjoy about the book? I mean, we're just, I feel like we're just loving this book and gushing about it. <laughs> I love Winnie so much. She was smart and funny. She had it together, but at the same time, she was kind of a hot mess. Yes. And I thought that she was really, you know, she was just so good. I don't know. I, just, I loved her. That's what I loved about Winnie too. Even though, like, she she was trying so hard and she was there for Granny, and but like you said, she was a hot mess. She got just got out of a terrible relationship where he didn't appreciate her or kind of just took her for granted. She's also going to school and she's trying to keep this orchard afloat. Also, she's serving at the town diners. Like, she has so much things going on, and then she adopts these adorable little kitties and i was like girl your plate is full <laughs> like <laughs> bow down to you she like she kept her cool even though i would have been like running around like a freak <laughs> oh gosh yeah. i wrote, i wrote down the sentence too it wasn't just that she was busy but she was still kind i love her quote he's like i can't find a soul who doesn't think you're a saint so even though she might be busy and stressed out, she's still taking the time for, you know, to help her out her town. She's still talking to Dot. I mean, I just kind of appreciate the fact, like, she was so motivated, but she wasn't tunnel vision. I thought that was so cute. I'm like, oh, she's a saint. Everyone loves her. <laughs> yeah, when uh, Colton was asking around, because when basically she was kind of one of the prime suspects along with Granny, you know, no one betrayed her about her you know, previous relationship with Hank either. She was like, I'm like, I'm glad they didn't air my business out. That had my back. I'm like, I'm so cute. And even with Dot, you know, she was just like, like, like you said, tunnel vision. Like when she was in that relationship, she had tunnel vision and she apologized to her. She was like, I'm sorry, I wasn't the best friend. And I'm like, you're adorable. I love you. <laughs> 
Dot, I mean, Dot was one of those best friends. You're like, I'll be your friend. Okay, this is, I don't know if this is jumping ahead, but Dot is adorable. She cares for animals. They refer to her as having her own, like, you know, McDonald type of farm. And she's trying to teach kids. I wrote this down because I wanted to talk about it. She's trying to teach kids how to be safe around wild animals. And a kid bit her. She needed to oh, yes. a kid bit her. Not the animal, a kid. <laughs> I feel like that's something that would happen to me. I, I don't know why, but it just, <laughs> that was hilarious. That reminded me of the other book when she's running down the pier, yelling at the guy to get away from at one of the little libraries. <laughs> I just oh. love humor in the books. It just makes me happy. <laughs> yes. Uh, there was something, oh, the humor part. One of the little quotes in, in there was, I shoved a bite of apple port into my mouth to stabilize my nerves. <laughs> and I, again, I thought of myself because, oh. <laughs> you know, I eat if I'm feeling anything. So, <laughs> dressy. <laughs> yeah. Again, like, I think I wrote down realism, relatable. I mean, Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like I related to that so hard. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like I, even I wrote down when you were talking, like circling back to her being a self-starter and being super motivated. I wrote down, you know, it's realistic because even like all, every, you know, she wants to open her own business. She wants to be self, you know, self-starter. She wants to be, you know, self-sufficient. Like, yeah, everyone can relate to that on some level. And then like I'm like, yeah, and the mannerisms, like wanting to eat, wanting the coffee. I'm like, yep. Yeah, I'm there for this. <laughs> You're my alter ego in a book. Oh yeah. She's like the most real character. I felt like th this could have been a girl that I've been friends with my whole life. Like I felt, I really felt like when I was reading Winnie, I was like, yeah. you are like, you're one of my friends. I can already, yep, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. And I just saw Alicia say Granny Smith. This, <laughs> she, yes. great. I loved her. I mean, I love, I just, I adored her. I was like, I, I'll, I'll be your granddaughter. <laughs> Yeah. And even though <laughs> Winnie, she was just like, she didn't really have the best business sense, but she took care of people, you know, because she's always like, that's on the house. Oh, you you take yeah. that. And I'm just like, oh, great. No. <laughs> she is everybody's grandma, like literally. I think I love, I mean, I also appreciated the fact that we were kind of talking about this before, where she's the prime suspect. And again, I mean, Winnie loves her grandmother and she wants to investigate to clear her name. So she has a reason for getting involved in the mystery. It happened on her property. Again, kind of similar to, you know, I can see a little bit of, you know, similarity with like the tea shop and then we have the mm -hmm. apple orchard. Like, I, but I like that because you have mm -hmm. to have a reason for getting involved. So like it happened on your property, you know, now the grandmother's a suspect. I mean, she's invested and I love that she, you know, wants to do this for her grandmother. I'm like, yes, this is, Cozy person is not just being nosy. <laughs> Thank you for being a good sleeper. And not Granny just even wants to get involved with her, uh, with her knitters, her having her little secret meetings and stuff. When oh my gosh, I I was I was laughing so hard. She scared them away, like not cold. Them away. She was like the sheriff. He scared them. He wouldn't let them hear. <laughs> he shut down the orchard. I know he like shut down. It's like they're having a club. Like they're not here for the orchard. Gosh, <laughs> mind your own business. <laughs> I know we do have to talk about Colton or Colton Sheriff Colton Wise. We do have to talk about him for sure. That has to be a conversation point. <laughs> He's so oh, yeah. growly. I love it. <laughs> I did. I tweeted a quote where um, it was after that big car crash and our um, other farmer, he wasn't killed, he was really badly injured. And then, you know, she could tell, Woody could tell that he was really upset. And she was like, she was thinking he was upset with her. And he was like, no, I'm upset because that could have been you. And he was all growly. I'm just like, yes, you care about her. <laughs> I loved it. I think I thought there was a lot more. Uh, I thought it was going to be the same way as with the tea shop, with how we were like, oh, come on, something. But this one was a little more satisfying because it was saw a little bit more of how they each felt about each other. I, I mean, I still admit I like that it has that slow burn kind of element in this book 
in a way. I mean, yes, again, the other one, like there wasn't even the almost kiss miss. Like this one, at least there was the mistletoe reference and things like that. But yeah. I appreciate yeah. the fact that he's new to town and he didn't just dismiss her as not a suspect. I liked that she was kind of a suspect. I liked that he kind of made Granny a suspect because if he didn't, he'd be really bad at his job. <laughs> like, let's be real. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, the way she's like, well, how can you, how can you think it's us? I mean, it did happen on your property. They were, our, you know, they were at a meeting. Right? I was like, he was like a really good detective or sheriff you know he was just doing his job and you know he wasn't like picking favorites when he wasn't you know like suspecting them you're right it's like he's just like okay it's on your property they weren't the best of friends uh it's just all like and noah could like just verify to her whereabouts when this happened so i was like we kind of need those things <laughs> if you want to just let her off the hook yeah and he didn't he didn't really start showing how he felt until he had talked with plenty of people in the town and he realized that the threat to them was real and how improbable it would be that they would have done all of this you know it would have just been silly if they had done all of this just right her and then you know the fire and the the truck and the guy in the thing that knocked her down all of that and that, I mean, it all, oh, no, good. like when you were saying like the fire, that scene, um, the one where he's on the ATV and he's like circling her property, and, like pouring the gas. I was like, I was having a moral panic attack. I was like, oh my God, he's in the house. He's going to set a ring of fire around her. I was like, that was kind of like, I was legit. My heart was racing. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, oh I, yes, that's exactly, okay, and, okay, other Angela, Angela Cox, like, uh, my name, yeah. so I was like, we are, the Angelas are in the same wavelength, I was just about to say that, too, I love that she looked him up online, and she, she, she went into his mother's Facebook, I love that, I, I, I got the biggest kick out of that, and she's like, oh, well, I only spent a few hours researching him, I mean, and then she's like, well, I, I started writing this stuff down, about oh he might be ruggedly handsome and the way she was trying to brush it off the way it was worded it was so oh, it was just so much fun and it just made me so happy and she's like well he is really accomplished and she talks about the unreasonably square jawline yes. like, oh, this is so cute love, though she says even though he has a jaw that would make sculptors weep <laughs> i thought that was hilarious <laughs> Oh, I love that. And there's like when they were arguing that one time and she just called him by his full name, Colton Wise. And he was like, why did you just call me Colton? How do you know my name is Colton? How do you know that? Like, so, so sad about it, but she looked it up. He's like, he's like, you, he's like, you, you looked at me and you, you asked around town about me. She's like, I didn't ask around town. I, in her own little head, she's like, but I might have been on his face, like mom's face page for a while. <laughs> Oh my god, I was laughing so hard. He was just having like the best time, like just poking fun at her, even though he could tell he enjoyed it. He was like, Oh, she she looked into me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I I love that. Yeah. I was like, we gotta come up with like the other like Angela's. The Angela's were on the same wavelength with that one. That was just so funny to me. She's like, she's just doing all of her little research. <laughs> and I kind of like her. She's a good sleuther, she does her research. She made an appointment with the with the, <laughs> the plastic surgeon. She made an appointment under an alias, <laughs> and then she gets caught. I love that. Okay, again, like the humor. So <laughs> Winnie decides she wants to look into the you know the death of Nadine, and it turns out Nadine is <laughs> getting plastic surgery. I wrote down the hashtag. It's, it's like millionaire mamas, like it's millionaire mamas. I yeah, I wrote it down in one of my notes, and so. She goes to the plastic surgeon, but who is interviewing the plastic surgeon right outside where she is Colton? <laughs> and then he's like, then he has to chase her to get her to, yeah. you know. She ran away. I would have been like, like glasses and everything. <laughs> like, yes. Like, just like she had done nothing. <laughs> right? She was like, I got to roll down the window. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what an amazing coincidence. You're here. Like, it's so funny because you can tell, like, she did, she dug deep and she got these leads. 
but she but, didn't tell him. So he was doing his job too. And he was getting these leads too. So I'm just like, he's doing his job. Like, come on. <laughs> Again, I love that. Some of the times in cozy mysteries, you're like, Oh my God, the crime is really rampant and these people are going to get away with murder. Like what is going on? And you're so concerned for their well being. He's good at his job. <laughs> even, okay. Even jumping ahead, spoiler alert. When he finds out, he figured out who the killer was, what, like right as he's about to confront, or when he's about to confront him, or you know, kind of come face to face with the killer, he figured it out to call and warn her. I'm like, you got, I'm like, yes, thank you. You are not one of those cops who's just sitting there, you know, in this cozy mystery, letting the sleuther do your job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and taking the credit for it at the end of the book. <laughs> I was so I was so happy about that. I'm like, he figured it out. It's just not even looking into this. <laughs> I'm so proud. Oh my gosh. I mean, I can't even begin to. I mean, there have been so many cozy mysteries where I'm like, where are the authors? Like, where is the police force? I mean, there's some of them where you're like, okay, there is no nobody here is there's monitoring. No the it's a lawless town. <laughs> <laughs> lawless. Things are running <laughs> rampant. <laughs> And he was the only one investigating. Like, is he the only person with this? I mean, he's sheriff, but aside from the, the receptionist, the secretary, like, I wasn't really sure if there was anyone else in that police department. I don't, I don't think so. They no. were in the background. Yeah. <laughs> that they were all, like, evidence and all that. He's, like, he's just so accomplished. He doesn't need a team. He can do DNA. Or, like, he can do, like, I'm going to do the paint samples from the car that rang off the road. I'm going to be, like, Tracking you, tracking the killer, I'm looking over here. He's just got it all handled. Yeah. yeah. It's also dispatch because when that thing was happening, when he was going to like light her house on fire, she like called him, didn't even call 911. She's like, I'm on my way. He's like, I got ambulance coming. I got the fire truck coming. It's like, he's dispatched too. He can do everything. <laughs> well, he's also, we, I, I wrote it down, he's 33. It was so funny when <laughs> he's like, well, I'm 33 and you think you're an old, he, he, she made reference to being an old maid being five years older than the rest of her class. And he's like, well, I'm five years older than you. So what does that make me? I was like, okay, I know you're 33. I know you're 28. At least I know my like parameters over here. <laughs> I don't know what the dog lost. He's trying to get at something. So if you hear him doing something in the background, that's him. <laughs> I only have one of my babies in here with me. The other one is with his dad. Aww. I know. It was so funny. My furry, so my furry baby uh, announcement. I'm getting a puppy on Saturday. We're getting a corgi. I love it. <laughs> my, one of my best friends, uh, she has three corgis. And two of them, they have puppies. They have five puppies. And so we're going to get one of them. That's a corgi herd. Mm -hmm. They yes. really love corgis in that household. They are adorable, though. Aww. We love her all the All the Instagram pictures, all the Twitter pictures. I was about about it. About it. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Puppy emoji. <laughs> My, okay. I can't read. I'm wearing the progressives. I'm like leaning in to read the comments. Tris is, Tris is saying she loves corgi. I'm so excited. I just saw that. Oh, yes. I just drank some cider. I, I want to make the cider that's in the book. I mean, I was like, that sounds amazing. I also want to do the spice one with the, like you add a bit of milk. And I'm like, that sounds delicious. I never thought about making it spicy like a chai and adding milk. I never thought about that. I haven't had apple cider probably since I was little and my grandma made it for me. Grandma cider is probably the best. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Aww. But this book made me want cider really bad. And, and all the recipe the now. <laughs> <laughs> I have my apple here. Like oh. I, was, I was like, I'm going to make sure I eat healthy because this book is inspiring me with the apples. <laughs> apples and the homemade jams and all that. Oh, it sounds delicious. Uh, Alicia, oh, said, there's so many 
Cozy's where the police department is equivalent of a mall cop. <laughs> Definitely not the case here. He was legit. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Gizmo. She said, congrats on your new family. Aww. It's true. You have a new friend baby joining the family. <laughs> yeah, we're so excited. You've never had apple cider. Oh my gosh, you're missing. Oh no, yeah, you're gonna. You're gonna. A little cinnamon and nutmeg too, and be great. Yes, it's delicious. I just had a cup. I had caramel apple cider. Delicious. Mm, that sounds so good. It's so good. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Christine said she finished cider while she was reading the book. I didn't have any cider while reading, and I felt like that was a mistake. I should have had a cup of cider while yeah. reading. Hey, next book, which is, what's it called? Pulp Fiction? Oh, In yes. Series? Pulp Friction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pulp I'm going to have some cider and some pastries <laughs> and read that book. Honestly, I just keep... I just keep thinking about that dump cake. I'm probably going to get this stuff and make it tonight. I'm not even joking. <laughs> and you have to post the oh, I will. final product. I will bring you along with my <laughs> dump cake <laughs> extravagance. <laughs> Kristen is adding fireball to your apple cider. Oh, my gosh. That Ooh. would be delicious if I didn't You're having fun, not Kristen. like fireball. <laughs> She's turning it up tonight. <laughs> Might get a little out of hand if I, if I as long as as long as you're home, turn it up yeah. to eleven, girl. <laughs> I was just looking down at the notes because we we're kind of. I was like, I lost track of what we were talking about because we've been all over the place. <laughs> Lady Gizmo. Says oh, I was just gonna say because we've been talking about Winnie at the beginning. What? what? <laughs> What Lady Gizmo was saying is like, I like it, but it seemed only to buy it in November. Do you heat it up? I like it warm. Yeah, I had mine hot. Yeah, I like it hot. Yeah. That's the only way I've ever had it. And then what were you saying, Angela? You like cut um, out there. Yeah, no, it was because I, I was looking back down at um my notes because we've kind of been jumping around. I just wanted to say I really liked um uh, Winnie's backstory. I really liked how it was really fleshed out and you can tell there was a lot of thought given to it. And I really, I mean, again, there's a tragic element to it, but I liked the story about how her last name is different from her grandparents because her mother gave her her father's last name instead of her own. And that's something that really resonated with her. And she's always kind of felt saddened by that she didn't have the same last name as her grandparents whom she loved. And so when she was naming the cats, it was so cute. She's like, no, no, they're gonna have the last, your last name. They're not gonna have the last name Montgomery. They're gonna have the last name Smith. And that just made me, that just touched my heart. I'm like, oh, she wants the, she really wants the cast to be part of the family. But the fact that that's something that, you know, stayed with her her whole life about that last name, like that was one of those details that you just know of good writing. Like, I, I mean, that was just, I, I don't think I've actually read that anywhere else. I was like, that is, like, you really gave us some thought, didn't you? She has a background yeah. character chart going somewhere. <laughs> you don't know. Yes. She's got a she timeline posted. Well written character. It was, I, I mean, it was just a detail that just really stayed with me. I'm like, this is a really well thought out, I mean, a very specific detail. I'm going, like, and that made me love Winnie even more. I was like, oh, she wants the cats to be part of her family. And, you know, you kind of understand where she's coming from. So I was just looking down at my notes, and that was something I had kind of highlighted. So I just wanted to make sure I referenced that tonight. I love cozies that make me feel all the feelings. Like, those are the best. Well, I also, I mean, again, kind of jumping forward again. So I liked that Winnie talked it out with Hank. So Hank is her ex-boyfriend and he was going for kind of an executive position, but he didn't tell her that. And so when he got the job, he just assumed she was coming with her. Like he assumed she was gonna pick up her life and move with him. She was not gonna do that. And that led to friction and they broke up. But I liked that they talked it out instead of having this just animosity between the two like yes I'm gonna see you in town I'm gonna be for my looks and be uncomfortable or you just think he's a terrible human being and write him off I like that they sat down and actually talked about it because I don't think again you see that too like too many other places <laughs> yeah mm -mm. 
she had a like a resolution because usually that's still like a conflict it could be a conflict that propels the future books you know kind of thing like whether it be like the love triangle between her Hank, and colton but um it kind of, they had like a nice little resolution but you could tell like at the end where they were all hovering over her and like oh i'll get you some water for to take your you know medication so i was like there's probably gonna be a little a little you know competition i should say <laughs> for there. For me, there's no competition. I'm team Colton all the way. What? One hundred percent. Yes, I agree. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm there. I, it was one of those. The last Bachelor was named Colton, and I kept thinking at first, I'm like, no, no, no this I'm like this character stands alone. He is his own Colton. <laughs> he is his own Colton. I mean, I don't. I don't like him. But I'm not a fan of Hank. I mean, that relationship it had its time. Close that chapter. Moving on to Colton now. <laughs> she even said when they were having their little hashtag, they were like, she said it was kind of fizzling out towards the end because you didn't know that I wouldn't have been comfortable just packing up and moving out. We weren't communicating anymore. So it's just like she even said, like towards the end, it was kind of, you know, it was on its last leg and that was kind of just what tipped it over that he did all this and she did like surprises and. All that stuff, yeah. I mean, he might be staying in town, but if this becomes a, any of, I'm like, no, 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 this is not gonna be a love triangle. It's still gonna be, nope. <laughs> Move along. <laughs> I mean, I will still read the book until I like love this author. Like, I'm gonna auto buy her no matter what, but still, like, it'll, it'll make me happier. <laughs> Maybe Hank will find him someone. Yeah, someone else. Him. <laughs> I thought Dot belongs with Jake, and that is one of the relationships that was just, I mean, it wasn't, you know, a big part of the narrative, but I loved it, and I love Jake. It was adorable, and Jake was so cute. I know, point of, point of, this is my request <laughs> to the author, please don't kill Jake. He's just too cute and oh, no. like, I'm no. <laughs> There are certain things an author cannot do, and that was one of them. <laughs> Kill the animals, and I'm making the request that you can't kill Jake. <laughs> I'm throwing that in there, like that's my request. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> but it would be good if he was, you know, a suspect and had to be his name had to be cleared. Yeah, yeah. Because you that would just so much, and she would be rooting for him. Yeah, it would also give Winnie like another chance to sleuth, just because that's her best friend's man. You know, like, oh, yeah. we gotta we gotta clear his name. Gotta help out. I mean, he's also super sweet to her too. I mean, he was he was like, Yeah, I'll read your business proposal. Of course I'll help you out. Yeah, I'm seeing you twice in a week. This is such a gift. He was so positive and he was so kind. I was like, it's like I, I love you too. It's like if Don wanted to I'm like, but it was so funny. She's going, but I'm four years older than him. And you know, the other one has the little bit of the five year age difference with Colton and we're not looking at that any differently but you know she's trying to say oh I'm four years older but no I don't care if she's four years older than him that's still a cute relationship it is perfect when he even said like he was one of those guys in high school that he was just you know like the sweet nice guy that every girl was later, you know, like later after high school they're gonna want to flock to him because then that's when they're gonna respect like the nice guy kind of thing like, yep Absolutely. He's looking for that bad boy anymore. Yeah. Yeah. He was almost <laughs> teenage at the beginning. You were suspicious. <laughs> Wait, he was, uh, again, I'm wearing the progressives. He was almost too nice that I was beginning to be suspicious. Oh. <laughs> like he could have been the killer. Okay. He's just well, too you precious. You have to be on the lookout for those who are a little too nice. <laughs> When I'm reading a cozy mystery, I don't trust anybody except for the main character. I'm just like, it's like I'm just like writing. Like I was like, why did you do that? Why did you take her business proposal? What are you gonna do with it? <laughs> it's like, are you trying to sabotage her? Right. It's like he's probably just gonna throw it away. He's not even gonna give it to the guy. <laughs> I was like, everyone except the protagonist and the animals. Yeah, the animals are also like, I, I am uh, again just throwing this out there. Dolly is the hero. <laughs> oh, he's the hero of the story just throwing it out there i love i mean this is I, again great writing because this came up before that main event 
where this cat decides she wants to climb people. <laughs> I was like, that, that is adorable. The, uh, the, just the cats, the cats, the protagonist and the cats. Okay. Everyone else okay. The cats were so cute. Granny was just the sweetest. Yeah. I loved when she said, being kind is always the right thing to do. That was yeah. one of my favorite quotes out of the whole book. Oh, it's true. Yeah. I love it. I think I was highlighting everything Granny was saying. And I was so invested. Okay, so spoiler. We're talking about a spoiler scene. So, again, you mentioned this before about the person coming to the property. And then Granny's there with her she, her gun. She's got her <laughs> she's ready to defend her granddaughter. And was it, is that her name? Bessie? Bessie. Yeah. yeah. She's like, I am going to defend. And she was actually shooting the gun. Yes. <laughs> She was, she was like, get on my land, okay. <laughs> it wasn't just for food. She's like, no, 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 no one comes after my granddaughter. I love that she was like really going to pr like protect her. I, I mean, and she. I mean, all I the characters really were. They were so intricate, and they were they were so well written. Uh, they were all. <laughs> away from my door right. <laughs> <laughs> but Anna like what were you like you were but, saying the characters are so like multifaceted they have different you know mm -hmm. shades to their personality like oh, granny oh, like, oh, oh, that drop in little pools of wisdom but then she can also pull out again like <laughs> loved it don't play with granny <laughs> don't play with granny don't play with granny <laughs> I was genuinely concerned for Granny though, because she got her trying to defend Winnie. So I was really concerned for her well-being. Because again, right after her and that ATV, I was like, oh, rude. Granny. <laughs> <laughs> so I was yeah. I mean, because the other thing is with cozies, I mean, people can die. They're more they're murder mysteries. So I was genuinely concerned Granny was going to be. <laughs> Oh my goodness. My son knocking on the door. <laughs> You'll hear mama. I did hear I did hear it earlier. I was like, oh someone wants a chicken. <laughs> yeah. I think his dad is cooking dinner and so he is he snuck away. Yeah. <laughs> well, well he's like mom. He just wants to hang out. That's adorable. Yeah, he would he would take over the whole thing and we wouldn't talk about any more of the book. <laughs> okay, Angela, she was saying, Angela Cox uh, was saying like, yeah, or sabotage, sabotaging her long time. I think that was back with Jake, trust no one. <laughs> yes. I thought he was gonna throw out the proposal too. I'm way too suspicious for Christine, right? And Lady Gizmo. You know Colton attitude of like everybody is a suspect. Like that's what you're doing. You're the Colton. Yeah. <laughs> Not anyone's friend. You're all guilty. Yep. Like the whole thing, like innocence like, until innocent until proven guilty. No, it's guilty until proven innocent. Like everybody's a suspect. <laughs> Alicia said, gotta love a granny pack in heat. <laughs> so true. I thought this was really funny when, when the two of them, uh, I, like this was one of my favorite scenes between Winnie and Granny. They're like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go talk to this group. You go talk, you go talk to this. Come back, come back, and then pair notes. High five, we're out. So you got Granny who wants to go talk to her quilting knitting group, and then you have Winnie who's gonna go talk to the hikers. And they're like, we're gonna pair once we get that. That was so 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 cute. Like they just had such a good anecdotes too. They were working together. When they when were they, talking about the the group going to the signing up for the um, what was it? And they're called the Nitwits or something. Oh, the, the what? Oh, the, the oh, what? Oh no, no, not the hiking group. You're talking about the knitting one or the yeah, the, yeah. the group when they were they were signing up for something, something. Uh, uh, like a thing. Thing. <laughs> now I can't remember. They made the blanket about like the poison, you know, the food is like, I'm not eating there again. 
Yeah. I got a name. I knew Soul Sisters because I thought that was hysterical that they were the hiking group named Soul Sisters. <laughs> and, yeah. And, but it was I thought it was also equally funny that the the head like their leader there was a guy. <laughs> like I guess he's one of the sisters. <laughs> yes. Out of the sisters. He's also a suspect. And his only funny. his only crimes were that he that was so funny when he was like, uh what did he say? He He's like, he was a piggly wiggly, and I go yes. to the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. I gotta admit, I never really considered him as as like a suspect, even though he would pop up from time to time. To me, it was kind of one yeah. of those. I was like, I no. thought he was he was too obvious. I, I didn't think. He I thought was like, there when something would happen. I was like, man, it won't be him because he was always there. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was just so funny when he said Piggly Wiggly. I'm like, any guy who says that says that line is not the killer. Like, <laughs> like he was too willing to be self-deprecating to be the killer. <laughs> yeah, the Piggly Wiggly, and then he got tanned at, at Sunbun. Okay, I was like, he's not the killer. <laughs> I was like, he's a freak. He just doesn't make a good killer. <laughs> But I have to admit, so I mean, we haven't talked about, like, I mean, so Nadine obviously was the victim, but I appreciated the fact that, again, going back to the sense of community, she was coming to warn Granny. Again, like they were enemies, but she was coming to talk to her to preserve the well being of her orchard. And she's coming, I mean, she wasn't really anticipating being in harm's way, but she was still going to go warn the lady who was her supposed enemy. I was like, yes, this is the community that I want to be a part of, because even if you don't get along, you still have that, you know foundation of yeah we're still good people we're still gonna look out for each other so i really like the fact that nadine was going to be doing the right thing oh i just want to and if nadine would have just told winnie what <laughs> she was there for no i mean like, no, it would have to have prevented her from being murdered but they would have had that information <laughs> yeah yeah that's true but yeah, I was just, when I read that part where Nadine was coming to warn Granny, I was my heart melted. I was like, "Oh, she's not really as hard-hearted as everybody, you know, believed that she was." I was like, "That's made me so bad that she died." I know. <laughs> I was trying to find about those knit the knitting. I'm like getting lost. What were you trying to find, Anna? About the the knitting group. But they were going to some kind of convention type thing, and they were going to present their rude patterns, and they were the nitwits or something like that. Does anybody remember? I don't exactly know what you're talking about. I'm like, I'm like, is this in my notes? I don't think I wrote that down, but I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't remember anything like that. I'm so sorry. I must have just glazed over that. It, I remember it, it was working on a me as funny because of the name. I, I thought it was just another one of those humorous things. I loved how much there was so much humor and then it would make you feel feelings. And I just loved it. I mean, I was picturing kind of this area coming alive with the fake snow and cutting out the oh. paper snowflakes and then them decorating the barn. I mean, yeah. I could see this coming together and I love the descriptions. There were so many descriptions of the house and the barn. Like, it was so great. <laughs> there was one I marked. I didn't start marking stuff until I got way in. So I'm probably going to go back and read and mark, mark up more stuff, but. Uh, like when she says, the temperature had plummeted overnight, leaving the air crisp, but the grass coated with the sparkling evidence of an overnight frost. And then how her, her breath would become a little cloud of ice crystals and float away as they headed, as she headed for the car. I just thought it just, she was so good at describing it. It just made it even more cozy because you just get the... Yeah. Like the, the tea shop, it's like the, the beach setting, it's cozy. It's a cozy little town. You love all of the little businesses. But this and orchard and all of that, it's just like the coziest of cozy. Like that's 
the epitome oh, can't of get any more cozy than that. <laughs> <laughs> I think Max wants to say hi at the rate we're going. <laughs> I mean, the descriptions were just, I mean, I love the descriptions. They were just so on point. I mean, I, I love the fact you got just such a sense of the of what they were feeling and doing and what the barn looked like and what the house looked like. I really liked, I mean, I just really enjoyed that as a reader. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's so good. She's so good at like turning a phrase, you know, and just, you, it really just paints the picture in your mind. And I just, that's part of one of the reasons why I love this author is just because she's so good at just transporting you into the world. Yeah. So good. She's so good. So of course now I want like the first annual Christmas at the orchard to be a real thing. I need to visit. Yes. A hundred percent. I would love to be there. I would totally I mean, go. I would be there. <laughs> Does anyone in the comments have anything they want to talk about? Any scene, character? I mean, I'm just kind of curious because we've been like just gushing over this book. So I'm curious if there's something that resonated with y'all. <laughs> and I just love this cover. Oh my God. It's so adorable. I'm, I just need an ebook, but I'm going to have to get a copy too because it's going to be one I have to collect in both. <laughs> Yes, I have the ebook and physical copy of this. <laughs> when I love a book, I have to have it in multiple uh, editions. Edition. I mean, I just really like this one. My mom ran on 100 days. <laughs> on 100 days. <laughs> <laughs> The cat names. I, I think my notes, I had Kenny Rogers written down in like four different places just because I thought it was so funny. So I think on all my pages, like I also appreciated the cats when she's like, they can be your barn cats, your mascots, or your personal cheerleaders. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I will admit though, I love the cover, but I kept thinking the cats were going to be like smaller for some reason because these are cats these aren't kittens these are cats so i feel like this is what they're going to be looking like by the next book like i can picture what they're going to be mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i also really want a cat now <laughs> but max did not have that <laughs> no i'm allergic I'm to cats because duchess right. is right. german shepherd she, she like loathes cats. <laughs> I know it is a shiny cover. It does shine. I just yeah. No, so. I found it about the knitter. You did? Oh, what was yeah. the quote? <laughs> uh, it says they got an invitation to the state knitwits convention. The knitwits are a group of knitters, but they're adding needlework for this year, and they invited us to attend. I just thought that was That's so, so funny. Cute. I think she I wins. That was so funny. I was like, there's your coach mystery pun right there. <laughs> yeah, like the just the, like the, some names in here. Are just, you know, like you said, like the soul sisters, the sun puns, and then the with and just like the puns are on point. The puns are on point. Yeah, but they kind of, I, I also saw the comment there, like, she is very natural with how she's doing this. Because some of the Cozy Mystery puns are like, and I feel like I'm going to throw this pun in there with this sentence. And you can kind of see it was added after the fact, and or there's kind of this awesome, like, all of a sudden break, we're like, and Cozy, and back to story, and Cozy. But this one just, again, it just went right into the narrative. There was no sidestep. It was just, yeah, we're going to have our Cozy moment, and we're going to have our pun, and it all makes sense. <laughs> I'm going to love it. Because she's a phenomenal writer. There was a line I highlighted right before that. But a lot of the stuff I highlighted was funny. Though, because those are my favorite. But ugh, Granny shot me a droll look. The age difference made me to bother my stitching crew. Some of them have new hips older than the Paris. <laughs> I love that they're talking about him and they're like, oh, the mysterious, like, attractive sheriff. That was so Unreasonably funny. square jawline. I mean, it was so funny because that was at the point where she was kind of 
having like that hate crash on him. Like, I don't want to be a tragedy, to you, but I am. And they're all crouching on him And then the and then the waitress, oh, he takes her out after that, oh, that debacle at the plastic surgery office where she was trying to be the sleuther. And he takes her out to eat, and <laughs> the waitress is hitting on him. I mean, we've established that by this point, like he's an attractive individual. Like the grannies are hitting on him, like the waitress is hitting on him. Like we can just tell that you know he's a very attractive character at this point. Like it's been established. <laughs> A definite book book boyfriend, boyfriend adds to this list. 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 Mm-hmm. I mean, the waitress hitting on him, though, I mean, she was not exactly subtle. <laughs> no! And she was just like, I never let like, Kyle take like, another food, but then she's like, why, why did she leave the receipt? She's like, it's like, that's not a receipt. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. I've been a <laughs> server <laughs> And I would never have the audacity to lose my phone number with a cat. But he took the number and it was so funny because she he goes, Yeah, but I didn't want to be impolite. And she accepted that as an answer. But it was so funny that he did that. I, I just thought that was kind of cute. Like he actually had a reason aside for wanting to call her. I was like, oh, this is why I like you. He's nice too, because like he said, like, I don't want her to have like, a bad day after this other take her number. It's like you're adorable. <laughs> you might. It's one of those. He appears, you know, hard. You know, hard on the outside, a little soft marshmallow on the inside. <laughs> Just gonna get to that marshmallow center. Yes. Yeah. But okay, so I was like, we're almost to the hour mark. But I, so, if anyone in the comments wants to add something, because I do want to mention that everyone who commented tonight is eligible for the Kensington giveaway, and I'm also gonna be sending a box as well to the winner. So tonight there are six books up for grabs for some of the <laughs> for a lucky winner. There's I know six books. I'm like Kensington is amazing. Just uh, shout out to a set like Michelle and Larissa from their cozy department. I love them. Like tonight the books are Flower in the Attic by Winnie Archer, Murder at Icicle Lodge, which might be one of my new favorite titles ever, by Jamie Griffo, who is also historical and one of the best dressed authors I've ever met. <laughs> Throwing it out there. Char- chocolate cream pie by Joanna Fluke, who is one of my all-time favorites. Jealousy, mm, jealousy. jealousy. Again, the puns. Jealousy filled donuts. I just love that. By Ginger Bolton, who's also adorable. She's so sweet. Three witches and a corpse. <laughs> oh, sorry. I can't even read my own writing. Three widows and a corpse by Deborah. I don't want to mispronounce this. Seinfelder. And then I, I haven't read this one yet, but this is on my chibi read list. A catered New Year's Eve by Isis Crawford. And I'm so, so excited to read that book. I was like, we have, oh yes. Yeah, I was gonna get to the 12 Days of Cozies, but um, I catered New Year's Eve. I was really excited about that one. I also don't think, um, some of these are still um, ARCs, so you guys have a chance to get some books that haven't even been published. Ooh, awesome. <laughs> awesome. But I wanted to make sure I referenced that. So get your comments in. Every comment is an entry to win these books. So type away. <laughs> And then, yes, 12 Days of Cozies is going to be December 1st through December 12th. And it's going to be hashtag 12 Days of Cozies. And there's going to be a giveaway a day. So it's going to be 12 days of just awesome coziness. Um, it's I'm so excited. I've been working on this really, really hard. So we have, um, we, so Kensington is going to be um, giving away a book a day as well. So they're going to be doing a book. And then I also have some other stuff to send you all. And I posted the links. There's some swag. And I'm going to put my popcorn down and the dog's going to attack it. But I can't reach <laughs> what I'm about to show you without that in the way. So we have some mugs and stuff that I designed. So they're all on Zazzle. It's not a business. I just wanted to make some stuff so y'all could, you know, so we oh all just have something, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, I made some stuff, and um, I did a mug a day. So there are twelve days. So I designed twelve different mugs. <laughs> so yeah, and then I tried to design just some fun little swag. So I was gonna, what is? Love that cover for Kid New Year's Eve. I know I have my little like Santa hat for twelve. <laughs> have that, and then this is my favorite mug. This is my favorite that I designed. I'm like obsessed with this one. So you guys are going to be seeing me post this all the time. (laughs) And then, so yeah, there's going to be some of the swag that I designed in the giveaways. So there's a lot of stuff coming your way. (laughs) That's awesome. And then then we decided, because the holidays are coming up, 
that we're going to skip uh, December live stream. But we do have a Twitter buddy read in 12 Slays of Christmas by Jacqueline Frost. And this is a Christmas tree farm mystery. So you guys can buddy read with us. And we're going to be using the hashtag uh, so cozy December. I want, just want to make sure I, <laughs> like, I have my notes in front of me. I don't want to forget. So hashtag so cozy December for the buddy read. Um, so we have this. So even though we're not going to be doing the official live stream, we have 12 days with reading sprints every night. And we also have buddy reads, so there's a lot going on. <laughs> so we might not have a live stream, but we're busy. <laughs> that cover is um, so cute. Um, cute. What? And that cover is so cute. That cover is so cute. <laughs> Love that cover. I know. You can tell I'm already, like, picturing, uh, you know, my, like, little pictures in my head. Like, oh, how am I going to position the mug? I'm going to have to get, I'm going to get into this. You guys are going to be, like, like, like rag, yeah, rag, rag, it's going to be coming. Instagram, Twitter, it's just going to be all cozy mugs. I'm just because it's going to be happening. So Kensington giveaway for tonight with your comments. So comment, <laughs> get those, get those entries in. Those are all the notes about um, December. I'm pretty sure. So we have 12 days of cozies, December 1st through 12th. Then we have the buddy read. So that's all month. And I believe that is your up to date. Oh, and there is currently. <laughs> I will just throw out there today there is a 60% off Zazzle mug thing. I think I posted the code for that because I was so pumped. I was like, because I didn't turn this into a business. I just wanted to do something fun for y'all. So the mugs are just my way of just designing something, you know, for everybody. And so today the mugs are on sale. I was like, yes, I'm going to post that code because I'm talking about it today. Like perfect timing. So if you guys want something from Zazzle, today is the day. <laughs> do y'all see what yeah. Julie, uh, Julie commented? commented? <gasps> Oh You're my gosh! <laughs> Are you really? Oh my god! How did I not know that? <laughs> Apparently, I'm just obsessed with you, and like, but I'm like one of those stalkers who doesn't talk to you. But I have to handle you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so we already know it's attached to our read. <laughs> Julie, uh, the wonderful Julie Lynn is here. Hello. Oh my god! <laughs> well, this is so funny. So funny. Ooh, I'm really happy. Okay, cool. I, was, I, was, yeah, I looked you up. Miss, miss, I was like, Miss Lindsay, I have your books listed here. So I have your um, a, gr a Geek Girl's Guide to Murder, Killer Confessions, Seeds of Love. We have the Seaside Cafe Mysteries. Right? And I thought I knew what was going on. And then <laughs> you throw this at me, too. So now I got to go buy all your books under Jacqueline Frost. And I don't know how you're this prolific, but I am so impressed with you. <laughs> bow down. Bow down. down. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> no clue. She's like, I gave my stocking myself away. Please comment away. We love, we love you so much. We're so excited you're here. Now I'm She's like, I love you. I love you. I, I am just, even Max is like, once again, I'm this low. Oh my God, my heart is pounding. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I had no idea. I mean, I'm sitting here, again, like, I, I'm just, yeah. So apparently, I'm just buying all your books, <laughs> reading all of them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> Who else are you? Who else? I was, I was gonna say, are there any other names I should be reading? Because you can tell I'm probably gonna go buy that immediately. Not even gonna read the book blurb. Just gonna auto buy it. Auto buy. It. Yeah. So we got Bree Baker, Julie and Lindsay, Lindsay Jacqueline Frost. We need to know all of your names, please. <laughs> Well, I, I have the other one here, too, because, uh, you know, for 12 Days of Cozies, I was like, oh, what are some cozy rings? And, like, Lou's wearing a little Santa hat. And I was like, I would be like Lou with my little Santa hat. <laughs> yes, so cute. I'm just like, holding up all your right now. <laughs> oh, oh. Wait for six for time. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Oh, my. Okay, okay. I, that is, I'm, I'm done. I'm like, my drop, like, that wins the evening right there. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. Life made. And the whole and time y'all were talking, and I was looking over at the comment, and I was like, we got it. We got it. 
I didn't do that. <laughs> I, don't tell you, I tell you all this all the time. I wear the progressive stuff because I can't see near or far. So I always have to like lean in to read comments. So like unless I'm like leaning in, you can see my forehead. I have no idea what's going on in the comment section. I know that could have been there all night and I never would have known. <laughs> Like we got it. Like we got it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay, that's like the second. I, see again, I'm leaning in. You can see the forehead. I'm like, okay, I don't know how I reacted. Apparently, it was very entertaining. <laughs> You're saying, okay, I'm also really safe, but that's all I swear. <laughs> that's all I swear. <laughs> Four pen names. I am. You are very. I'm writing this down. I'm so impressed because I mean, they're not, it's it's also not just turning out books. I mean, they're, they're five star reads. It's not as if, oh, you, know, you, know, you know, they're not books, they're not books. Like, I mean, they're, they're all quiz, quantity and quality. Like you're getting the quality and quantity, which is right. Right. <laughs> You're reaching. Oh my gosh. I, I, I I'm amazed. I'm like, sure? I had no idea. I'm holding up. <laughs> It's fate. They, I, I, mean, they, I mean, you just want us to read all of your books, honestly. All of your books, honestly. I was gonna say I had no idea. Like I've been, t I've been holding up this book. We were talking about this, you know. Like, what do you want to do for the buddy read? I think like three or four people had decided on this book, so that was the one we went with. And so, <laughs> totally no idea. Happened all totally organically. Had nothing to do with the other two books. Everyone just loved this title and was so invested in this book, like book blurb. So apparently, we're, you're just queen of cozies. <laughs> you you are the queen. The queen. <laughs> now I can't now wait, can't wait all, of all of these. I, I love how everyone in the comment section just said us. <laughs> oh, like, we have the author joining us. <laughs> we're all freaking out. <laughs> all freaking out over here. <laughs> fangirl moment for sure <laughs> oh my gosh i'm like my cheeks are on fire and can we just talk about these towels 12 sleighs of christmas was the night before christmas <laughs> I love, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Like the tree farm. I mean, I was so invested in that. When someone recommended it over on Twitter, I immediately just latched onto it, and then everyone else kind of jumped on too. Like, this is the best title ever. I, I had no idea. I had no idea. It was the same author. I'm blown away. I'm like, mic drop. We're done. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you've made our evening. Oh, you've made my. <laughs> My life. My I, was life. Gonna, I was gonna say it's been a very long month. <laughs> like yeah. you just yeah. like, you just made my November. I'm like I had no idea. I'm holding up the same book, same author. No idea. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, cool. Now I now it's worth, it. it's worth it. Like it's I don't even have to read have a sample to first, first, first or anything. I don't buy. buy right? I mean, yeah. see, this is why we need to know your pen names because as soon as we know the pen name. Everything on the pen name is going to be on our library shelves. It's going to be in our yes. cases. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is amazing. <laughs> Everything in my life. Everything is in my life. life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Thank you for joining us. See, I'm leaning in. You can see I'm reading comments, Trish. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Trish. Thank you. <laughs> As from laughing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. The world needs more cozies. Yes. And yeah. if you write them, I I agree. And I want to own all of them. Angela Cox, I'm buying it tomorrow. <laughs> Exclamation point. Exclamation point. I was it was so funny because I anticipated someone asking, like, oh, what are some Christmas reads? I'm like, just read her. Just go for the Jackson, like, just go, yeah, we're good. I was trying to be all prepared, like other potential Christmas reads. I'm like, we're just, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Okay. I don't need to read any other books. <laughs> it's fake. It's fake. Honestly, if Barnes and Noble is still open by the time it's live stream, I'm like, oh, like, I went to Barnes and Noble. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we hit the hour mark, and I officially am like just <laughs> shock. <laughs> I, 
I think I've lost any eloquent dialogue or, you know, thoughts in my head. I'm just, we're now. I'm, we're now. Girls. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just have no words. <laughs> no, I'm just, Julie just told me to write a book. I'm so honored that you stopped by and joined us and watched the live stream. And yeah. I mean, obviously, we're huge fans. So thank you for watching us and being here. We love I mean, you. I mean, I'm that so just means. Um, the first one, live and let try. Yes. I'm so glad I'm so glad. There was something about that. I know, Anna's the one who started this all. She's yeah. the one who turned us on to Living Let Shy, and then you sent us down like the snowball path of here. I had no <laughs> You're idea. You're converting us all. I had no this idea. Is all <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Uh, Chris, I think Chris is at eight or nine. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You I'm your super creepy stalker. You are not creepy. You are not a stalker. You are welcome anytime. It's totally. You, I it's mean, totally fun. you just, I just made, you just made that, just so we're aware. <laughs> oh, we love you so much. And your and your and your cozy little towns and orchards and now your tree farm. <laughs> I am just, I am stunned. I am just, I, I know, I'm like, I had no idea, but I, you know, I've been planning this. I have my little notes, like make sure I mentioned 12 Slays of Christmas by Jacqueline Frost. I had no idea Jacqueline Frost was you. And there's an underline Frost right there. Make sure I say the author so people know to go get the title. I'm like, I'm just going to say, go to your website and just go from there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I I am night made. We're good. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> my God. I know this is, I'm gonna have the biggest smile like, on my face all tonight, all tomorrow. All tonight. Oh my gosh. I was gonna say, I mean, I'm I'm honored that you joined us tonight, and I'm so happy you did because we learned about another pen name identity. <laughs> Actually, two more. Two more identities. You divulged, you divulged the fourth one. So <laughs> and Julie Chase. <laughs> I just ordered all of her books. Under Julie Chase, I will tell my husband if my person to give for some later. <laughs> Good plan. I put on a more Santa hat for myself. <laughs> Good plan, Trish. That's what I do. It's like I just order the amazing Christmas gift from me. <laughs> and then when it comes to like, I love it. Oh my goodness. Thank you. You know, you know. <laughs> She says, thank you, haha. -ha. I'll be creeping next month too, it seems. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Must read all the books. You can all be creeping. You are welcome to join us anytime you like. Yeah. <laughs> anytime, all the times. Yeah. All the times. You are more than welcome. My goodness. I was like, talk about like ending on a high note. Like, <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. I'm on top of the world. It's like we were in a cozy mystery. Like we were in a cozy mystery. mystery. We didn't even know. I know it. I hope my editor is watching. They like me normal. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, I know. So in other words, you know, we, like, we're going to be leaving off on saying, read, you know, 12 days of cozies and we're going to be doing the buddy reads. So it's like 12 days of cozies, 12 days of Christmas during 12 days of cozies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so perfect. It's so perfect. I need like to drink this Oh my goodness, this little guy wants attention, so I'm gonna have to go sign on at some point. Um, oh my goodness, I was like, any other, I'm still, I'm still stunned. I'm still, I'm still like fangirling stunned over here. 
I was like, if anyone has anything they'd like to add or ask, <laughs> like now would be the time. Angela Cox is saying we broke our own rule and didn't go back to everyone. I would I would ask that Lily and Lindsay and Lindsay in the chat. Well, I mean, because it, it shows you, I mean, the viewing numbers go up and down. So, I mean, unless someone comments, you have no idea who's watching. So, clearly, I had no idea this was going on. <laughs> I also did not know I was recommending her book as Jack and Frost, but I'm happy to do so. <laughs> I'm more than happy to do so. It's my honor, my privilege. <laughs> my goodness. So we have a tree Christmas, so a Christmas tree farm mystery, 12 slaves of Christmas, Jack and Frost, aka Brie Baker, aka Julianne Lindsay. We'll be reading that next month for our body read. <laughs> I am just, I'm still stunned. I'm like, in night may, we're good. <laughs> yes, hi. He wants to go out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go out. I know. I was like, so before we, I'm like, I, I almost, because I don't want to leave. I'm like, she's here. <laughs> but the little guy doesn't want attention. <laughs> so any other final comments, questions, thoughts, anything about the book or to, you know, Julianne Lindsay, a.k.a. Brie Baker, a.k.a. Jacqueline Frost, like, I mean, <laughs> before we say goodnight. Shout out okay. to Angela. She's the most fabulous, cozy mystery. Cozy mystery. Social media queen, <laughs> and then of course our special guest Anna. Lovely, lovely. I want to give you all hugs. Oh, and thank you for joining us, Nicole. Too, thank you so much for joining me. Anytime, I'll be here anytime. Y'all are so lovely. I love our whole group. Oh, I guess you're so much fun to chat with, and I is. It's so much fun because we've been having such great reads. It's like we get to talk with people we adore about books we adore with like the best club ever. And we also have the writer in and we stop in who we also love. Like just all the cozy love all around. It's just so much fun. The best. <laughs> yeah, Maxie. You just want to say hi to him. He's going to be difficult. <laughs> and thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. We love you all as well. We love Julian and Lindsay. Thank you for writing. I know. I'm. I mean, this. I, I'm just. I'm still stunned. I'm. I'm still <laughs> struggling to find words. <laughs> I. I mean, again, just. I'm so. This is an honor. Uh, really, it really is. But I know. Thank you guys for joining us. And again, yeah, I will go you. through everyone who come. All these comments or entries for the Kensington giveaway, as well as I'll be mailing a package to somebody. So someone be on the lookout for a Twitter announcement for the winner for this. And then 12 Days of Cozy, December 1st. Lots of coziness goodness. So please be sure to join the Twitter and you know see what's going on there. If you get something, you know, use the hashtag, all the entries and all the goodness. So all the all just all coziness all around. And I'm still stunned. I'm like, this has been the like, best night ever. <laughs> best night ever. Night ever. I feel like we all needed to be wearing Christmas Santa hats. Well, I mean, I was like, I don't know where I put the book because I got distracted when I saw Julie and Lindsay in the comments. But I wanted to play Lou with my little Santa hat. <laughs> Honorary Santa hat. Like Lou. Oh, Lou. Oh, Lou. 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 So cute. So cute. See, all the more reason to join 12 Days of Cozies and take pictures of just, you know, a little bird in a hat. <laughs> little bird in Santa hat. It's all good. But the little guy is looking at me. Yeah, <laughs> I know it's gonna be long right now. I say so I gotta go take him out and get go get go get the fresh air and catch catch my breath. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> thank you everyone for joining us for reading and commenting. You guys are just so much fun. And again, like the last Tuesday of the month, like great best way to spend a Tuesday. It really is just chatting about all the cozy news with all the most wonderful people in the world. So thank you for joining us and. We'll Thank be you. talking Thank to you soon over on Twitter. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Bye. Bye. Bye.